of people signing petitions about Confederate statues this week, but in some North Texas cities, it's not about getting rid of the monuments. Our Jason Allen has a story from Granbury. Confederate monuments have been vandalized in Dallas, targeted in Houston, and removed in Austin. But in Hood County, the likeness of General Hiram Granberry still stands with a whole army of supporters. And I don't think that most of the residents here view the statue or square or our county's name as anything being indicative of racism. Friday, a petition started spreading to remove the statue of the Confederate general from the Granberry Town Square. More than 100 people signed on in agreement. The next day, however, a new petition appeared to leave the statue alone with nearly 4,000 in support. I don't think people think uh, that a statue did something wrong. I, I don't think, it, more than anything, I think people are proud of where they live and they're proud of what Granberry has stood for. Practically speaking, people here point out that removing reference to the general would take more than just removing a statue. It sits in the Granberry Town Square where businesses have the name Granberry in their names. It's all built on Lake Granberry and overlooking the courthouse on a hill just outside of town on General Granberry Street is the final resting place of Hiram Granberry himself. Certainly, I can understand why people have different viewpoints of, of maybe perhaps General Granberry's statue, but I think there's room for us to sit down as intelligent Americans and discuss that and to move forward. That's what's important. The county judge told me other than one comment from a man two years ago, this is the first time he's aware of that the statue has been questioned. It stood in the square more than 100 years, and at least for now, it appears history here is still going to be part of the future. In Granbury, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.